Okay, so we're fast forwarded about a week. I actually found somebody in Roanoke. Well, my buddy James helped me find somebody. City Truck Parts over in Roanoke on Shenandoah Avenue was able to actually send these away, get them relined, and riveted them on this time. Ain't no glue gonna fail this time. And got them back to me within a week. And they look brand new. So now we'll put the hardware together. I put in the bags. We'll get these shoes and get it back on the truck. And while we've been waiting on brake shoes, we got others in the garage. And we got the transmission leak fixed on a rat in time to go to the show this weekend. So, all right, let's get some shoes back on the truck and get that back to the owner. Okay, so we're back on brakes again. Uh, you see, I've gotten a little smarter. I put a wire tie around the wheel cylinder to uh, hold the cups on because the slightest little touch, they fall off. And on the brake shoes, I got a bungee cord this time. Going around, hooking from shoe to shoe to hold it in place so I don't have to try to fight and hold it in place. And you'll see I replaced the hooks with actual E-clips like you would find on a modern car. Um, I'll show you the E-clips versus the hooks over here on the table. Because the hooks that they sent me weren't even close to the original. And the original hooks were so fragile I was afraid to use them. Alright, let me get the camera somewhere steady. And we'll uh, make more attempts to put that infamous spring back in. Alright, hang on. Okay. Got the camera held. Hopefully it don't fall down. Um, we're back with the spring again, my arch nemesis. I have decided to resort to a vice grip this time to try to hold on to it to get it in its position. So, we're going to see if this method is any better. If we can get it in here. And then pull. Ooh. Look at that. How about that? You can teach an old dog new tricks. Huh. Well, how about that? Let's take ye old bungee off. And then get the brake drum. Find the countersunk screw, countersunk. screws. Let's find them. Get them in place. One on this side. I guess way back in the day they was worried about the drum falling off and hitting you so you had to have screws to hold them on. And there we go. All right. 
Marcel, Marcel Ledbetter, wow, okay, line up, oh yeah, okay, well, that's that, now, I need to find somebody to go help me bleed the brakes, now that the wheel's on, that we bleed the brakes we're gonna take this jewel for a test drive oh but first I promised to show you the difference in the hooks that's right that's right okay let's finish the lug nuts here so I don't lose them I'll lay them down they'll walk off Let's go show you the original hooks. Okay. Yeah, we got another one. All right. Here's the replacement hooks that they sent me. Here's the original ones. You can see the size difference, they're not the same thing. So I chose to go with the Eclipse that I did, because if you look at these, even the bigger ones are showing some cracks. You know, there's not a very good design. It, the Eclipse at least holds it in three places. These original hooks just went in slid, and you were supposed to bend that tab down, bend it flat, and rely on that to hold it in there. So I can see why they went away from this design. Um, but the E-clip should hold those much better, and all these are now just junk. Okay, so yeah. Got to find somebody to help me bleed brakes, and we're taking it for a test drive. All right, stay tuned for that. All right, let's take her for another test drive. Let's see how the brakes are. Contact. Oh, almost.
showing how bit how bouncy this thing really is. Thank you for today.